two lovely people. <laughs> so I have basic. Annyeong friends and welcome back. Today we are here with two lovely people. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have to sign coffee today. The whole day is for the clinic. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to transport and very difficult. But are you excited? Yes. Very excited. We are excited for the course. Endlich mal was zahn medizinisch selbst zahn technisches zu machen. Oh ja. <laughs> yes, we have 10 minutes of break until our next lecture. Mm -hmm. Sorting out our lockers in the cop clinic, getting our stuff inside the different lockers in the different rooms. Thank you. And now we're going to go eat something because we're starving. We had a lot to organize and lots to move around. There still is a lot of stuff to figure out. Yeah, because we have like these dental instruments that we need to bring from home to our hospital and put in our lockers in the hospital, which requires a lot of work. Yeah. But now we're done and we can go home. Yay! Hast du irgendwelche Tipps für für die die ein Zahnkopf verkaufen müssen? Nicht gleich den ersten kaufen, den man sieht. So viel Geld. Es ist abhängig davon, ob man weiß, wie viele Leute im Examensemester im Vergleich zum eigenen Semester sind, weil bei uns waren 20 mehr. Genau. Hätte man sich absolut nicht so stressen müssen, wie wir ja. es haben. Das war es eigentlich, oder? Ja. <lacht>
Okay, I'm finally home now. Oh my god, it feels like today was such a long day. It just never ended. But I think it's also because we had to do a lot of things for uni and especially for our tiny coffer, which is basically our dental kits, our dental instruments everything that we need as dental students. We have lots of different lockers. We have lockers in the lab room. That's basically where we work on our models, our tan modele. Also lockers in the phantom room, so where we have our phantom heads, and also lockers in the hallway of the cop clinic at the very top floor. And I would love to take you guys along with me and show you the different rooms because it's actually really cool. But uh, today, during our lectures, our professor told us that it's basically prohibited for us to film anything in the rooms and kind of distribute online so yeah unfortunately i can't take you guys along with me but if you guys want to leave comments i'll try to give a description of what it's like in the cough clinic in heidelberg as a dental student my friends and I we were talking about our first state exam and in order to sign up for this exam we had to send documents to this LPA, this is basically a Landesprüfungsamt, they regulate the whole state exam mission and all of that shabam and as an international student I have international qualifications and IB is basically unaccounted so it's basically acknowledged and recognized and accepted in Germany but the Landesprüfungsamt, the person in charge basically wrote to me and she said that it's not unaccounted, it's not recognized in Germany and I have to get it recognized by a different organization run by the government that will basically check through all of the documents including all of my high school uh, certificates, my CV even, everything and they basically just give me a letter saying okay your IB diploma is recognized in Germany and there's no problem with it. But the funny thing is IB as I said before is already recognized in Germany and so there's really no need for me to get this Anerkennungsbescheid because it is shown, it is already an account. And then I had to write several emails to this place. And the reason why I made a big deal out of it was because if I go and apply to get my IB recognized by another organization, it takes months, like it takes weeks to get this letter back. And my deadline to apply for this exam is already on the 10th of June. So I don't have a lot of time until the deadline. And I do not want to apply late and not be able to sit my exam because that would be the worst case scenario. I kick you off, that would be my nightmare. In the end, in the end, we got it all sorted. But this made me actually think a lot about time management because if if you're a uni student you will definitely understand but sometimes managing your time can be a little bit difficult and even if you're not a uni student you know i definitely struggle with managing my time and it's definitely something i'm trying to work on which is why i want to give you guys some tips on how you can manage your time more efficiently so what i like to do is first draw up a matrix or a chart At the top you would have the degree of importance of the task that you have to get done and the degree of urgency so for example for me in this case sending all of my documents off to register for this exam is very important and is very urgent because the deadline is very soon and so that would be one of my top priorities of the things that I have to get done. Whereas buying a Weisse Schnellheft, so a white folder where I would keep all of my documents, all of my records for when I'm working in the cough clinic, so when I'm working in the hospital, that would be important but not urgent because I don't need it right away. So that would be a little bit below in terms of the ranking of my priorities. And just having this matrix can make it easy for you to visualize, okay, these are the tasks that are actually important, but these are the tasks that are more urgent. So let's get those done first. Do it! Just do it! Yeah, another way I like to go by is to just keep track of the things I have to get done using a calendar. Whether that be uni stuff like writing lab reports or going to seminars, going to lectures, or just my personal interests, whether that be doing art or going for runs or, you know, what else do I do? I like to have this written down week by week on a calendar so then I can see it more at a larger scale. And trust me, if you're able to manage your time well, you're able to really spend your time wisely and intentionally. And that's definitely something I'm striving for and I hope that you guys, if you're someone like me, I hope you also strive towards using your time a bit more effectively and intentionally. I don't know, this whole process of like signing up for the exam, going to uni, getting all of that side of done, made me think a lot about the importance of time management. And it's funny because I had this thought even in the first semester of uni and it's still with me. I feel like managing my time well is always going to be a task that I have to tackle. And that is basically all for today. I shall see you in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are in the world and spread happiness and positive energy. Even though I drank so much water, I'm still so... <laughs>